Hi there, Jen Roke here at StampCampWithJen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida. And welcome to my weekly Facebook Live. If you're new here, I typically go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time or a little bit later today. Um, we decided to go to the movies today and go see the new Jurassic Park. So I pushed it a little bit. It was a really good movie. It's a long movie though. It's two and a half hours. So even leaving at like four o'clock, I knew I had to push it back. So um, it was really good though. If you haven't seen it yet and you really like the Jurassic Park movies, go check it out. It's a good movie. I really liked it. As you're joining, please say hello and... Um, let me know where you're watching from. I love hearing from you guys, and thank you so much for joining me a little bit later. I can't stop yawning. I'm probably going to go to bed after this. I am super tired. <laughs> it's been a long day, but it's been a fun day. So, um, And also, as you're joining in, if you... Um, share my video. I would appreciate it with your crafty friends and invite them to join us on our weekly uh, crafting adventures. Um, Sue, past your bedtime. Yep. Hi, Pat. Hi, Diana. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, and if you're watching the replay from a YouTube channel, um, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell so you never miss a video and give me a thumbs up on Facebook and YouTube. Oh, thank you, Diana. I feel like a mess because I just kind of took it out of my bun that it's been all day. So my hair is like a kinky mess. I feel like a little monster. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Thanks for making it live. Maybe because I'm a little bit later, it's easier for people to join me live. I don't know. But all right, well, I'm going to turn the camera over. This is actually a pretty quick and easy car. Um, I think you're gonna really like it though it really gives me like summer vibes and really makes me just happy looking at it um, so let me turn the camera around and I'll go over some little announcements and then I'll show you what we're gonna make today it's gonna be really fun all right let's see here let's flip this over here we go all right, let's get this party started. Get my lights going so you guys can see everything nice and bright. All righty. All right, so those of you who have shopped with me before, you know I have a monthly host code. So if your order is under $150, please use my host code. Um, that helps me earn freebies to send to you guys. Um, and if your order is over $150, then don't use my host code. Just enjoy your stamp rewards and you'll still get a free gift from me. I send everybody a free gift no matter how much you spend and a little card to give you some crafting inspiration as well. So, um, hi Kay, thanks for joining me. So please don't forget to use my host code when you check out. I'd really appreciate it. That helps me get those free gifts to send to you guys. Um, Last Chance Products is going on now for the January through June 2022 catalog. I have it right here, actually. So this catalog, these are the products that are retiring are from this catalog. So if there's anything you want in here, go ahead and grab that up. You have until June 30th to do so, okay? Uh, last week, I announced my mini catalog product shares for the new catalog coming. Um, so if you're interested in those, please check those out and let me know if you would like to reserve yours. You're in the basement for a tornado warning, Diana. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys stay safe. That's scary. Um, hi Jessica. Thanks so much for joining and for sharing. Okay, so yeah, go to stampcampwithjen.com. You can see all the details. I have a paper and a ribbon share this time um, and a deluxe share, which includes both of them. But all the details are on my blog. And if you want to sign up for a paper or a product share, um, just email me at stampcampwithjen.com and let me know what you'd like and we can arrange all the payment and everything. Okay. And then, haha. -ha, I have something exciting coming this week. I can't wait to share this with you guys. My team members know what it is already. I told them 
uh, last week at our team meeting. So team members, if you're joining, don't say anything. Don't spill the beans. But this Wednesday morning, you'll get to read all about it. Something I've been working on for a little while now. Um, and I think you guys are all really going to be excited about it too. And we can talk more about what this is next Monday as well if anybody has any questions. But just be sure to check back on Wednesday. It'll be on my, all the details will be at samcampwithjen.com. Um, so you can read all about it there too, okay? Hi, Sue. Welcome from Alabama. I'm glad you made it too. I think it's a little easier for people when I do it later. I just don't like to do it later usually because... My husband and I watch TV, and if I do it too late, it's like bedtime for us. <laughs> but I'm glad everybody's able to join today. All right, so let me show you what we're going to make today. This is what we're making. Isn't that so much fun? Now, many of you know my husband is very literal, and when I show him my projects sometimes, <laughs> his feedback was so funny. He was like, this doesn't make any sense. They don't have any bodies or arms or heads. And I said, it's swimsuits floating in the water. Don't take it so literally. It's art. That's what it is. <laughs> but I thought it was really cute. And it's actually really easy to put together. So I'm going to show you guys how to put this together. So the Waves are actually one of my favorite new products. Um, this 2022 to 2024 in color glimmer paper is what the waves are made out of. Let me see if I can show you guys here. Look how shiny. Oh. And it's I love their glimmer paper because it doesn't shed, so you can't see like it doesn't peel off. There's not glitter all over the place. So, I just love this. Yes, bathing beauties from the 40s. That's right, Sue. So I really like this. So, what I did and this is the Orchid Oasis paper. Um, so this it's really hard to tell on, um, for me, I keep getting Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky mixed up, so you can kind of see the difference here. So Starry Sky is here, and this is Orchid Oasis. So this is what we use, is the Orchid Oasis. But they're very similar in color, so I have to keep double checking everything when I'm looking at these two colors because I keep wanting to mix them up for some reason. But this is the paper, the Orchid Oasis. I just thought it was a really pretty, like, beachy color. So that's what we're using in the card today. And then the stamp set we're using is Sunny Splash, and we're using those little bathing suits, and then this is the words here. And then I have the little clouds that are up here are actually from the Give It A Whirl dies. So I use the two smaller clouds, and I just die cut those as well. I love these little clouds because they have all the little stitching and stuff on them. I just love anything stitched. I think most of you agree with that. You guys love the stitching. It just looks so nice. So, so the waves. Let me kind of explain what I did for the waves here. So I have two cut out, and I'll show you how I cut it with a third one. But... Um, what we're going to actually use is this little die here that is from the scalloped contours die. So that's where this one comes from. I usually have it on my little pad here. But that's where we got this piece. Now if you take this and die cut it so that the points are pointing upward like this, and you just die cut it, up, line, line it up along the very, very edge just like that. And that is how you will get these little waves right here. And then, to give it some more contrast, you can kind of see my waves aren't exactly, like they're kind of alternating. So when you die cut the first one, let me kind of explain this. So let's say the first die cut, we make it so that the points are towards the end, right? And then the second strip, you're just gonna shift it over just a little bit so maybe the open pieces are on the end. And that's how you'll get your alternating waves points like that, your crests, if that makes any sense, okay? So I brought out my little mini machine to show you how I die cut this little piece because like I said, I have those two ready to go, but we're just gonna die cut one more here and grab our little mini machine. I have my washi tape ready to go. Okay, so like I said, we're just gonna take this and we're gonna have it so the points are facing up, 
just like that. And I'm gonna take my washi tape and kind of tape it down so it's in place. And then I'll take my other pad here and just roll this through. That should do it. I tried to do as much die cutting as I could before I got on here with you guys though because I know how painful it is to watch those videos and people are die cutting and coloring and they could have done that beforehand. So now when we peel this washi tape off here carefully, that's one. I'm going to try to hold it together so you can kind of see what it looks like with the big reveal here. There we go. So see, we have that die cut, and then that is what it looks like. So it made that little scallop, but we're pulling that scallop away, and now we have our waves just like that. Isn't that cool? I just love that. Okay, so that's how we make our waves. So we've got all those together. Now for our swimsuits, we actually have to fussy cut these. Now I know a lot of people don't like to fussy cut, that's all right, but these are so, so easy to do. So I'm actually taking this bathing suit and I am inking it up in Fresh Freesia. And I'm just gonna stamp right down there. And this is just a scrap piece of paper, it's no big deal, where I stamp it because we're gonna cut it out anyway. And I'm just gonna use my paper snips and leave like a little bit of a border, but you'll see how quick and easy this is to cut this out. Not a problem. And the other two bathing suits I've already done before the video, so you can see. See, this is taking no time at all. So I know a lot of people don't like to fussy cut and that's okay, but these are super, super simple. There's not a lot of like little jagged lines that you have to cut around or anything. It's pretty easy. Just like that, it took me no time at all, right? Okay. And I already have, this swimsuit is in Calypso Coral and this is that new Parakeet Party in color. Um, I, I really like this color. It's like a lime green color. It's really, really pretty, okay? So let's assemble. We'll do everything. We'll do that little cloud last. I'll show you guys how to do that. So the card base is actually another new in color. This is the Tahitian Tide. I really like this one a lot too. And I always pre-score my, my card bases. It just makes it a lot easier to fold them in half and kind of don't have to fight it as much when you're folding them and it because it's already pre-creased. So I just take a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece and I score it at the four and a quarter inch mark and then it just makes it so much easier when we do that here, okay? All right, so now we are going to line up our waves. So I'm gonna try to do, because this is the ombre paper so you can kind of see it's like lighter and darker, but it really doesn't really make that much of a difference because they're all gonna line up kind of like that. See? Okay, we're gonna have it just like that, I think, yep. Okay, so the first layer we need to do, we're gonna actually tuck our little swimsuit right behind there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put where the crotch area is, <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive, just a tiny bit there at the bottom. And then I'm gonna adhere it right behind the wave off to the right hand side there, okay? And this whole piece is gonna lay flat on the card, so we're just gonna go ahead and apply adhesive to the whole thing, even the back of the swimsuit, because it's all gonna lay flat, okay? And we're gonna do it, I wanna make sure my waves, there's not gonna be any blank spots, so I'm gonna kinda stick these on here loosely just to kinda give myself an idea of where this needs to go so that there's no spots there. You can just kind of tuck that in. We'll put it right there. Okay, so now we have a good baseline for where we need to move for the other um, waves, okay? So now the next one, we're gonna do the purple, the fresh freesia, and this one we're gonna pop up with one dimensional, one layer of dimensionals, okay? So we're just gonna kind of put these 
all around and this again we're going to put a little bit of adhesive in the crotch area I know that's so weird but that's where it's got to go and then this one's going to be more towards the middle here so we're just going to kind of stick that right there you stick it flat so you're putting the adhesive on top of the bathing suit to stick it flat behind the waves but then we're actually gonna put dimensionals all behind this to pop the whole thing up. Oh, they're right there. I was just using them. And since the bathing suits are kind of staggered, they won't, you don't have to worry about them sitting on top of each other. So that, that one's gonna be about there. So we'll take all the dimensionals off of this one. So we're just going to put it just far enough down so that the card base isn't showing right there. Good. Now for this layer, because it's the very bottom one, we need to double up our um, dimensionals. So we're going to have two dimensionals per section. I'll show you what I mean in just a second here. And then for the parakeet party bathing suit, more adhesive on the crotch region there. And then we're going to actually stick this to the left hand side of the waves just like that okay and now what I mean by doubling up our dimensionals so we're going to stick one on take the backing off and then stick another dimensional right on top of it so you have double the layer of dimensionals like that okay and that's what we're going to do on the whole thing so we'll do another one on this side to the backing off and adhere that second dimensional right on top. Do it again here. I do about four per strip of dimensionals. Four dimensionals per strip of glimmer paper seems to be about right. And then one on the bathing suit. Okay. I'll put dimensionals there and then the bathing suit and we should be good to go. Actually, I might do two on this one just to really make sure that bathing suit is not going anywhere. All right. Oh, my nail is sticking. There we go. So do you, any of you guys have any guesses what my big announcement might be? I will say this, and I was laughing when I was talking to my teammates about this. They were guessing all kinds of things. One of them said, you're pregnant. I said, no, I am not pregnant. <laughs> Another one said, you're moving. I said, no, I'm not moving. I'm not, it's not a personal announcement. So it's a stamping up related announcement. That's not anything like a personal thing that I'm announcing. So if that's your guess, then you're wrong. <laughs> I'll just tell you right now, but it's something Stampin' Up! related. I will give you that hint and that's it. All right, so for this last layer, I'm just gonna line up the edges and the bottom here with that glimmer paper along the edge and the bottom of the card, just like that. And see, because we have that extra layer of dimensionals, it pops out even more. Oops. And I guess, did I not take the backing off? Oh, there it is. So you have all that extra dimension with the waves just popping up just like that. Isn't that so fun? Oops, my wave is a little too low. I didn't notice that from behind here. That's okay, I'll fix it later. Or maybe I can fix it now, actually. I'll just move this down just a smidge. Let's see if I can. Sometimes when you use that seal, that Stampin' Seal, it's Luckily, it's not like glue, so you can kind of fidget with it a little bit. I think that might work. And sometimes you can kind of finagle this stuff to get it to work how you want it to work. I think I got it. That's pretty good. There we go. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this little wave here, or wave, clouds. We're going to put the clouds up here, okay? But first, I'm going to get some glue. I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue. I'm not going to be, no, 
Okay, don't worry. I'm not going to quit being a demonstrator. It's a positive thing. I will say that too. It's a positive announcement related to stamping up. It's something that's going to be really fun. Really, really fun. And you guys are all going to be excited about it. So nothing negative. Nothing negative. It's not a personal announcement. And it's nothing negative. It's a fun Stampin' Up! related announcement that you guys are going to be super excited about. I promise. <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna put our little cloud here. And we're gonna put liquid glue on this one. And just kind of stick that cloud up there. And then the last little thing we need to do for our greeting is we're gonna grab that scrap piece of paper I had here. And we have the sentiment that says, anywhere with you is paradise. My part of the million dollar reps. Nope, that's not it either. I wish. <laughs> One day I hope to get there, but not quite. All right, and then we're gonna put this one right here. Anywhere with you is paradise. I love that saying, it's so sweet. And then we're gonna grab our handy dandy cloud punch. And with this one, the sentiment fits right in the bottom of those little humps of the clouds. So just center it between the left and right side there and punch that out. And then we're gonna grab some more dimensionals. Nope, not part of the million dollar rep, Sue. I really wish I was, but not quite. I'm just going to put three dimensionals on the back here and pop it up right in the top corner. And voila, there's our card. We made, oh, I forgot my little embellishments here. So for the little uh, swimsuits here, I use this Fun Flowers Resin Shapes. And I'm just going to grab my Take Your Pick tool here. Now, if you guys have never used this before, this is one of my favorite tools. It has this little putty end um, that you can actually use to pick up embellishments. So I'm going to take the smaller size. Let me open that up so you can see all of these. I'm going to take the smaller of the little flower shapes, and I am going to use my putty end here to pick it up. I'm going to stick it right on the top of that bathing suit. And then we have the fresh freesia, and we're gonna put it right up here. And I'm just taking the putty tip, pushing away from that plastic that it's on, and then it grabs that little embellishment right there. And there's the flower on that one. So there we go. All right, guys, well, that is all I have for today. I hope you really enjoyed this summary card. Yes, Kay, and it is something you'll all be able to participate in. Good guess. You guys are getting close. I love it. Um, I will make a reminder announcement tomorrow on my Facebook page to look for the announcement on Wednesday, and you can put your guesses in there as well. I'd love to hear what you guys think it's going to be. Um, I thought it was pretty funny when my teammates were guessing pregnant, moving, <laughs> all that stuff. So um, put your guesses in there. I wonder if anybody will guess what it is before the announcement on Wednesday, but it is something you'll all be able to participate in and it'll be something that's really fun. So, all right guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's project again. Thank you so much for joining me a little bit later. I hope that it was worth the wait and that you enjoyed my little summertime fun card here. Um, if you need any of the supplies for today's project, please purchase them on stampinup.com with me Jennifer Roke. This card is not in stamp camp this week. I wish it was but I don't have enough glimmer paper for everybody. My classes are almost completely full which I'm very grateful for so um but we will have some fun projects. I didn't give you guys a preview this month. All the projects will be showcased after stamp camp this month. I am so glad you like the card, Sue. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kay. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys. Well, until next time, be safe and happy stamping. Good night. <laughs>